Okay, basically what we're going to do is use the go-kart performance program. So we're going to click on the go-kart performance program link, go into the uh, the data inputs, and as you'll see all sorts of data has been inputted already. This is designed to simulate a go-kart that's already designed. Uh, bottom line is that these are realistic numbers, and uh, all the data that's in this program is already entered, clutch sizes, gear, uh, sprocket sizes, so forth. So we press calculate and out pops some numbers at the bottom of the screen which you can use as information. Now basically what this is simulating is a 200 foot span being traversed by a go-kart and it will take 6.84 seconds is what it's saying. And uh, the we put in some fun things like a uh, theoretical 0 to 60 time of 10.28 seconds. Uh, okay, we're going to take a look at the, the data analysis again and basically this is the important information that you get out of this is how fast your go-kart is actually going to go, uh, the ratio of the engine to the uh, to the rear wheels uh, you'll get some obviously some data where it calculates uh, the addition all the weights, uh, the engine torque and the acceleration, the force required to push the go-kart and whether or not your go-kart would make the tires slip or, and it'll tell you if the tires gripped or not and there's some other miscellaneous information how many G's the go-kart pulled and acceleration and so forth. This data can be very useful if you're trying to design a drive line. Uh, this is only a one speed ratio calculation so it's not uh, anything fancy like uh, uh, multiple speeds and it assumes that there's a uniform uh, acceleration being put out by the motor.